The infection spreads. This Nurgle update is sponsored by Putrid Painting. Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Nurgle update. That's right, it's another gribbly, another sniffly, another gooey, another rank Nurgle update. But anyway, so, um, what I've been doing so far, um, well, I've not really done that much. Um, done a bit more work on my uh, Great Unclean one, you guys will see an update on that in a separate video, uh, hopefully coming up this week. As you guys can see, I've uh, tidied uh, my desk, just look at the space and the cleanness of it all under there. Absolutely mental. Um, now, another thing that I've been doing, I've been working on, as you guys know, I've been working on the ideas and toying around with the idea of some spawn herders. Not really to add anything to the army, so to speak, just add an extra body that I can use as spawn without me having to spend a shit ton of money and have like leftover models from using the um, the, uh, the, 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 the the river trolls kit. So I thought to myself, well, it'd be really, really cool to have spawn herders, so I wanted to use the Forge World Renegade Ogryn models. Now, whilst they're really, really cool, I did feel like it was just a little bit of a cop-out in regards to making, you know, just buying them, painting them up and doing them that way. So, I decided to make my own. That's right guys, if any of you guys are on the uh, on the old uh, Facebook, you might have seen um, the this guy uh, pop up once or twice. But yeah guys, let's have a closer look at him, let's just zoom in. So this is made just out of the bog standard, um, one of the metal, nah that's right, metal, thank fuck for that. Oh, just feel that metal, well you can't really feel it because uh, you know, you're uh, you're behind a computer screen, but it's metal, Games Workshop fine, while well, still producing metal miniatures, or they have these left over before they put them into Shitecast. Um, but yeah guys, so this is from Games Workshop, this is ordered brand new, so it is metal and I'm really happy about that. Just a regular Ogrim. Now, um, whilst the model is really really good, and this is probably my favourite Ogrim model that they have out, there's two things that really really fucked me off about this model, really really annoyed me. The first thing is the fact that rather than being um, separate pieces, it's two pieces. It's basically torso, legs, that's it. Now, this is all well and good if you want to use him as a, you know, Ogryn. But if you want to convert him or you want to reposition him, it's a real ball ache. Mainly because this arm here is attached to the back of his head. Now, as you can see here, I've put this cowl over the front of his face. Now, in order to do that properly and make it look natural, I actually had to get in there with a razor saw and hack down it. I mean, seriously, Games Workshop, is it too much trouble for you just to make this fucking separate? Now, the second thing that really fucked me off about this model is lazy fucking sculpting. This is a ripper gun. All ogrins have this. Now, it's come to my attention that they've used the same ripper gun on every single one. How do I know this? Let's, let's just look at this for example. He's holding the gun over his shoulder against the side of his head. Now, the gun is upside down. Would you not think that even though it's being held upside down, this ring would have gravity? Really wound me up. It's the tiniest, most minute little detail, but really, really pissed me off. Could they just not re-sculpt that and flip it down? Or just shave it off altogether? You could just do that, Games Workshop. Why the fuck do you just have lazy sculptors? Seriously, pisses me right off. Using the same gun, generic gun for all the fucking Ripper guns, all the Ogrins, you wankers, Games Workshop. Utter wankers. But anyway, those little rants aside, let's have a look at what I've actually done to him. Well, the Renegade Ogrins, they all have these cowls on them. Now, first thing I did was to replicate, really replicate that with some green stuff, so put it over it after razor sawing the uh, fucking gun away from his head, draped it over it, repositioned the gun, and frayed the edges, which looked pretty good. Next thing, I did these pipes and uh, tubes coming out, like I had like a rebreather under there, because again, trying to reciprocate what is on the Forge World miniatures as well. Um, this banner pole, by the way, um, if anyone's wondering, is actually a leftover from a very, very, very old Inquisitor model. It's actually the uh, Gravandius Inquisitor model, which sadly is no longer in production. Well, none of the Inquisitor models are in production anymore, because all the specialist games have been taken off Games Workshop's website. Hmm, wonder why. Maybe because their market share dropped 25%. Fuckers. Oh well. Anyway, ran over. So, um, what else did I do to him? I did a bit of a bayonet going on here, I did some more, uh, just this little uh, canister here because again, trying to reciprocate what's on the Forge World ones, and um, his hand here, he had a grenade in there, so what I did, because I didn't want the grenade, I wanted him to have like some kind of long pokey stick, so I gave him this halberd, I literally used a ogre uh, kingdom's hand, uh, used again another 
uh, Blade, Glaive, um, Halberd off an Inquisitor model. Then that was off the uh, Demon Huntress model, actually. And then I... Oh, fuck, nearly dropped it. Uh, then I added just this uh, back bit here and pinned it all the way through. Now, I've got to say, this model really fucks me off as well because of its nature. The fact that it's got this long banner pole here that's got points on it and this bit, it catches really fucking easily on anything that I have around. And this has actually fallen apart at least five times, whereas I've knocked it onto the floor like a total prat. But anyway guys, so, uh, what else have I done to it? Moving on to the back, we've got some Nurgle iconography there, we've got my little Nurgle fly logo, which I like to use, I do enjoy that logo very very much. And uh, see the banner pole there, what I might do I might, um, I might just leave it here because we've got some chains going on around the backs of the banner pole here and that'll look like it's actually attached. Now to nurgle them up a little bit I've added some boils, added some pustules and that's really it. I didn't want to go too OTT on this one because it's already a really nice sculpt. Um, so guys that's it for this nurgle update. Please let me know what you think of this guy, whether or not I should do uh, another one. And uh, yeah guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. See you now, goodbye.